My name is Elizabeth Grant, and April is National Poetry Month. The poem I want to share with you today is Kubla Khan by the English poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. It is a very well-known poem. He wrote it in 1797, but it actually was not published for almost 20 years because it was a poetry fragment and not a complete poem. And the story behind that fragment is almost as well known as the poem itself. In its preface, Coleridge said he had been asleep and in an opium-induced dream, the poem had come to him. And he woke up and started to transcribe it and was interrupted by a visitor. So he broke away to be with his visitor. And when he returned to pick up the threads of the poem, he couldn't. It had just disappeared from his recall. Now, there's some debate as to whether that's actually a true story. Uh, it might be a great excuse for writer's block, but whatever it is, Kubla Khan remains one of Coleridge's uh, best-known works and well-loved and well-recognized. So with that, Kubla Khan. In Xanadu did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Alf the sacred river ran through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea. So twice five miles of fertile ground with walls and towers were girdled round, and there were gardens bright with sinuous rills where blossomed many an incense-bearing tree. And here were forests ancient as the hills, enfolding sunny spots of greenery. And oh, that deep romantic chasm that slanted down a green hill athwart a cedarn cover, a savage place, as holy and enchanted as e'er beneath the waning moon was haunted by woman wailing for her demon lover. And from that chasm, with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if the earth in fast, thick pants were breathing, a mighty fountain momently was forced, amid whose swift, half-intermittent burst, huge fragments vaulted like rebounding hail, or chaffy grain beneath the thresher's flail. And mid those dancing rocks, at once and ever, it flung up momently the sacred river. Five miles meandering in a maze emotion, through wood and dale the sacred river ran, then reached the caverns measureless to man, and sank in tumult to a lifeless ocean. And mid that tumult Kubla heard from far ancestral voices prophesizing war. The shadow of the dome of pleasure floated midway on the waves, where was heard the mingled measure from the fountain and the caves. It was a miracle of rare device, that sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice. A damsel with a dulcimer in a vision once I saw, it was an Abyssinian maid, and on her dulcimer she played, singing of Mount Abora. Could I revive within me her symphony and song? To such a great delight would win me that with music loud and long, I would build that dome in air, that sunny dome, those caves of ice, and all who heard should see them there, and all should cry, beware, beware, his flashing eyes, his floating hair. Weave a circle round him thrice, and close your eyes in holy dread, for he on honeydew hath fed and drunk the milk of paradise. <laughs>